Welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Rivers. That's right. Special video release. That's right. Normally you only get five videos from me a week. This week you're getting six. Because I already recorded the five for, for this week. And then these showed up. Ooh. And I just couldn't. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait till next week to open one of these up. And I didn't want to bump the video that I shot for this Friday to next week. Eh, we'll just leave it, and I'll just release this one early. That's right, everybody. That's right. Who's ready? Who's ready? Here it comes. Now, there's been a lot of discussion about this set, right? The price point is quite high. A lot of people are saying that the boxes won't stay that high. A lot of people are saying that the boxes will drop, you know, quite a bit lower than MSRP and all of that, what have you. There it is. Look at those shiny packs. And there's our box topper, which we're going to open at the end of the video. That's right, we're going to make you all wait. Maybe we'll open it in the middle, just to screw up the people who try to fast forward. <laughs> we're going to take all the packs out of the box. And, as we all know, if you don't, Put the box together it's bad luck that's from what i understand so you got to put the box together so that you get the nice stand there it is it does not really there i got kind of ripped i guess oh, whatever anyway there you have it <sighs> who's ready is everyone ready for some spice this is going to be a spicy opening the packs are like super loose too like oh no they've gone with the battle bond packaging so you've got the rip down the side which I'm not a huge fan of it's not it's not the worst but it's not the best which also means then that our packs are packaged the other way as well right yeah commons on the back Those should be all our commons. I don't know. I haven't read up enough. Again, I don't really watch spoilers, so I haven't read up enough on whether there's commons in here that I should be pulling out and setting aside. Actually, I guess I can pull that up real quick here. Let's take a quick peek and see if there are indeed... Of course, we've got Lily, Karn, Tarmogoyf. Okay, we've got Uncommons for sure, worth some money. I don't see any Commons worth over $2. Okay, so we can just kind of plow through the... We'll do a quick peek at the Commons here. Mere Servitor, that's cool. Ranom Unicorn. All right. First uncommon, an iridescent drake. Let me get that out of there. Second uncommon, Garna. Wow. Reprinted already. Holy moly. Songs of the Damned. Seems pretty decent. And our first rare, Talrand. All right, I'll take it. It's not, not a crazy hit or anything like that, but it's a sweet card. And our first foil, a rune snag. And, of course, we got our little elemental token. Treasure Cruise got printed in here. Sleight of Hand, very good uncommon. That's a $2 uncommon. Angel of Despair, downshifted from rare, I want to say? I think so. I want to say yes. 
for that. Miraculous Recovery. And Life from the Loam. Very nice. It's a good hit. I don't know what the price is on that right now, but it is substantial compared to Talrand. $15 it's sitting at. It's not terrible. Not terrible whatsoever. And Foil. Foil Crushing Canopy with an ooze token. The problem with these packs with the rip down the side is that I'm always worried that I'm going to damage the cards coming out of the pack. We've got Urban Evolution. We've got Chainer's Edict. It's a good one. Target player sacrifices a creature with flashback. Young Pyromancer. I don't know where that where that's sitting, but it's probably over a dollar, would be my guess. And our rare? Back to basics. Whew, that's a spicy hit, isn't it? I want to say that it is. Twenty-eight dollars. There you go. Holy moly. And our foil is a Lotus Eye Mystics. With an elemental token. The one one. See, sometimes it rips okay, and then other times not so much. Oh man. Living Lore, another downshifted rare. Anger. That's really cool art for Anger, by the way. The original Anger is quite a little quite a bit different. Counter Squall, that's a very good uncommon. That used to be quite a quite a few dollars, actually. I don't know if it's it must have come down in price. But it's a very good card. And Flagstone of to, uh, troke here, uh, trocar, tro, tro, troke air, troke air. Let's call it troke air. That is a five dollar rare. So there you go. And our foil, a mage ring network, another land. Ooh, we got a citizen token. Well, that's a new token that's never been printed before, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it has been printed once before, but it's very rare. I don't have any citizen tokens. So that's kind of cool that they've added new tokens. I forgot to count, so I'm guessing I've got a couple commons here. There we go. Laboratory Maniac. This guy was downshifted. He was a rare. Snake Umbra. Very good card as well. Eternal Witness. There it is. It's a $4 uncommon. And Desolate Lighthouse. Where are we sitting with that one? Is that anywhere on this list? I don't know where we're sitting with that one, if anywhere. Oh man, am I going to get my friggin' Leovold out of this set, finally? I don't own a copy of Leovold. Would be nice. Desolate Lighthouse doesn't appear to be on the list of cards. That's okay though, we'll put it with Tolerant there. And our foil is an Unholy Hunger with a spider token. That's the spider spawning token, right? All right. Some good stuff in here. Frantic Search in the common slot. Very good card as well. Unbur Unburial Rites. Very good uncommon. Boar Umbra. Appetite for Brains. Yes, give me all the brains. And we've got Pattern for Rebirth. Or Pattern of Rebirth. $2 for that rare. And a foil, Dark Dabbling. With a soldier token. Alright. We're almost a third of the way through this box. We haven't hit any Mythics yet, but that doesn't mean we won't. We've got a Conflagurate. Circular Logic. Is that actually on here? I feel like... Well, maybe not. But it was definitely... Uh, this was a, a good card at some point. It's still a good card. Lava Spike reprinted. Wow, this is a $3 uncommon. Also really cool art for the Lava Spike. And our rare? Seize the Day. I don't think I saw this on here. It is an interesting card, though. 
Seize the Day is an interesting card. And our foil is a Molten Birth. Foil Molten Birth. If only it made foil tokens, right? If only it made foil tokens. All right. Think Twice got reprinted as well. Rise from the Tides. Emancipation Angel. Dreamscape Artist. Cool. And our rare? Micaeus, the Unhallowed. It's a pretty nice mythic. I don't know where he's sitting price-wise. 15 bucks? I'll take it. Foil? Foil living lore. We got a foil rare. A foil downshifted rare. <laughs> All right. We're on to the second third of this box. Let's see if we can find some more juice to squeeze out of this bad boy. All right. We missed an uncommon there. Conflagurate. Mystic Retrieval. Vengeful Rebirth. That's really cool art, too. Man, the Vengeful Rebirth art used to be just like, um, like some guy like blasting like fire. This is really cool art. Like the skull and like the vines growing out of it into like a person's head and then like a sword down the middle to divide the two sides. It's like the life and death side. It's very cool. Very cool art. And Rhea Dawnbringer. <whistles> Spicy card. Rhea Dawnbringer is a very good angel. Um, don't think she's worth a whole heck of a lot value-wise. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. But still very good. Very, very good. And our rare? Oh, I mean our foil? Stitcher's Apprentice. We got just an elemental token. The good old 4-4 Elemental. So what, our Mythic was in our last pack of the first row? Travel Prep. Ah, uh, yeah. Who's ready to draft Travel Prep in this set? Everyone is. Meringue River Prowler. Stream of Consciousness. And our rare? A Raging Ravine. It's not you know, crazy value, but it is five bucks. So we'll put it in the pile there. And our foil is a uh, Shiri Cizo's Caretaker. And we got a Citizen token. So foil Shiri. That's our first foil uncommon, I think. Is that correct? I think so. All right. Man, Wingsteed Rider is in this as well. Become Immense. Furnace Celebration. Ancestors Chosen. I just gave one of these away in foil the other day from Judgment. So that's kind of cool. It's the original art too. And Daybreak Cornet. That's another $4 rare. Sees a lot of play. Holy moly. We got a foil Caracas out of this pack. Pew, 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 pew. Wow. Foil Mythic out of the first box. Spicy, spicy boys. I don't know what that's sitting at, but I'm sure that it's it's a good price. I don't know what it's sitting at, but I'm sure it's a good price. What It's $33 non-foil. Foil doesn't even have a price. Um, let's see. Because we can base it similar to... The Eternal Masters. So the foil Eternal Masters is 68. So it'll probably be somewhere in that range. It's not bad. Not bad. I mean, I'll take it. Foil Mythic, right? I'll take a Foil Mythic. Rolling Temblor. Grave Strength. It's a cool card as well. Shriek Maw. Wow, they printed Shriekma on this. That's going to be fun. And Maelstrom Pulse. That is sitting at like the $7 range, somewhere in there. There you go. Boom. And our foil is a Tethmus High Priest. Let's just take a quick peek at our foils here. I'm pretty sure that our foils were all 
So common, uncommon, common, un oh, we have two uncommons, okay. Common, 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 uncommon. Okay, so we've opened up a few uncommons. Just nothing super crazy of note. Three uncommon foils, a mythic, and then a bunch of commons. All right, we're now approximately halfway through this box. Let's see what else we can find. Some some tasty, tasty things. Devoted Druid. Very good card. Very good card. Hero of Iros. Or Ir, uh, Iros. Iros. Dawn Charm. That's a cool new art for Dawn Charm. And our rare? Demonic Tutor. I'll take it. I'll take it. Where's Demonic Tutor sitting at? Anywhere? Is he even sitting in here somewhere at any value? It's got to be somewhere. Oh, Chainer's Edict is three bucks. That's an uncommon that we opened. I'm just, I'm not seeing Demonic Tutor on this list anywhere. There's no way Demonic Tutor is worth nothing. I'll look it up later, I guess. There's no way Demonic Tutor is worth nothing. And a foil on Burial Rites. Oh, that's a cool worm token. 6-6 six, six black worm token. Very nice. All right. Rally the Peasants. Nice. Good for those Boros decks. Laboratory Maniac. Desperate Ritual. That's a pretty cool... Ah, it's new art, too. Very nice. Desperate Ritual, for sure. Oh, Tarmogoyf with the new art. I'm so stoked about that because I love this art. The Tarmogoyf art, the, the new Tarmogoyf art is is amazing in my opinion. I love it so much. It is, it is phenomenal. They've, kudos to, who is it? Philip Berberan. Kudos to him. That is phenomenal art in my opinion. Puts the appropriate amount of fear into your, into your, you know, into your deck. Darkmoor Salvage is probably worth a buck or two. Warleader's Helix, that's a pretty good uncommon as well. F Fiend Hunter, there, we got three uncommons that we hadn't seen yet out of this pack, so that's pretty sweet. Gorio's Vengeance, that's a spicy hit too. This card is $16, there you go. Man, and a foil Mad Prophet with a homunculus token. All right, so we've hit Foil Caracas and Tarmogoyf, and we hit Back to Basics, Life from the Loam, and Gorio's Vengeance. So we're still looking for, you know, some of those other rares that are over the $20 limit, like Phyrexian Altar, Phyrexian Tower, um, Noble High Arc, Ancient Tomb. There's some good stuff, for sure. Okay, we got Mahomati Djinn, Malevolent Whispers, Stinger, Stinger Fling Spider. And our rare? Dig Through Time. I don't think Dig Through Time is super expensive or anything like that. I don't see it on the list. But, how about a foil Glenelendra? Alright, so double foil rare in this box. I'm going to put the foil rare, I mean technically foil mythic and foil rare. And Glenelendra is a $7 card not foil, so I mean I'll take it. I will take it. That is a spicy hit too, for sure. Foil Glenelendra, nice. And the new art on it as well. Emancipation Angel. Plume Veil, that's a cool looking card. That's that's old school, that reminds, takes me back. Heap Doll, my goodness. And our rare? Phyrexian Tower, we were just talking about this. There you go, that's a nice $20 hit right there. All right. And our foil is a Ghoul Colors Accomplice. Ooh, we got a 1-1 black and white spirit token. Very nice. Very, very nice. Golgari Charm. Nice. Magma. Man, I remember that card too. Slippery Boggle. Bogle. Boggle, boogle, boggle, boggle, boogle. Say it however you want. And our rare, a Vexing Devil. 
That's probably a couple bucks, I would guess. Yeah, five dollars. And our foil, a vessel of endless rest, with a zombie token. Man, this is a this set though. My goodness, is the hype train real for this set? I think it is. I think it is. Phalanx leader. Boneyard worm. Mage ring network, and. Tassiger, the Golden Fang. Wow, look at that. That's so cool that they've drawn him this way. This is when he was young and not all grizzled yet. That's super neat. Um, I don't know where that fits in, but I don't think it's super high priced. Yeah, I don't see it on there. I'm surprised that we didn't see the Demonic Tutor on there anywhere. I'll have to go check that price afterwards. Garna, the Blood Flame, as our foil. You would hope that you're going to get foils of, like, the uncommons that are the reprints um, of older stuff as opposed to, like, the newer reprints, like Garna. But, like, hey, whatever. I'll take it. Apprentice Necromancer. Hero of Lena Tower. This was a rare, I believe, from Theros. Murderous Redcap. Very nice as well. And our rare, Spoils of the Vault. I do not see that on here either. I don't see it on here either. So, away it goes to that pile. Staunch Hearted Warrior. I see that they've brought back, ooh, Spark Elemental Token. Very nice. Um, I see that they've brought back like a lot of the heroic stuff in this master set, which is kind of cool. I enjoyed the heroic part of, like, the Theros block. I didn't enjoy so much the, um, the enchantments going all in on one creature with Bestow and stuff, but, like, I enjoyed the heroic triggers. That was pretty fun. Artisan of Kozilek. It's an uncommon. Very nice. Wild Hunger. Mistvale Plains. And our rare? Engineered Explosives. Snap it off. That's a nice big hit right there. Where are we? Where are we with engineered explosives? Thirty-four dollars. Thirty-four dollar dues. If we can't hit another mythic in this box, because we've hit two and technically a foil, then we're glad that we hit at least the engineered explosives of the top end rares, right? Because uh, there are there's two top end rares, and that's noble hierarch and engineered explosives, followed by back to basics. Uh, oh, there's Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor is underneath Dark Depths, sitting in, like, the high end. I thought it... Yeah, okay, $26 for Demonic Tutor. Look, see? Just a matter of me actually paying attention to what I'm doing. Also, the fact that I'm not used to having to scroll down on this page to look at rares when I'm at the $26 mark. I'm used to having to do that when I'm down in, like, the 4 or $5 range. <laughs> But when you're at the $26 mark, you think, oh, there's two there. There's Dark Depths and Temporal Manipulation. Okay, fine. Oh, Demonic Tutor and Celestial Colonnator underneath there. All right, then. So there you go. I knew that Demonic Tutor was definitely worth something. I just didn't know how much. So Reviving Vapors. So there we go. We're happy about Demonic Tutor being up there, which we expected it to be. Vengeful Rebirth again. Nice. We had a Ghoul Steed there as well. I'm sorry I didn't mention it. And a Stirring Wildwood. Burp, burp. The, the, the worst of the manlands, I think, right? I think that's what everyone's consensus is. The worst of the manlands? I think that's the one. What do we got? Sigil of the New Dawn. Buried Alive. This is an uncommon I saw on the list. Sitting at the $2 mark. Fesunctity. Fecunt... Fecundity? Fesunctity, I think is what how you pronounce that. I'm not sure. I I am not any... Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! How about an Emrakul? We'll take it. $24. Bickety bam. Three mythic box. Technically four mythic box because we hit a foil Caracas. Spicy spice. Now if this last rare is a noble high arc or an ancient tomb or a celestial colonnade... That means this box is going to be, like, mad hype. 
mad hype. It's already hype because we still have our our extra pack to go. Shri Ray, Cizo's caretaker. Forbidden Alchemy. Kitchen Finks, that's an uncommon worth some money. And how about a reanimate? It's not one of the super high end uh rares, I don't think. But it is still worth something, I believe. Let's go see. Do we have reanimate on here somewhere that I just don't see? Doesn't look like it. Is reanimate just not on here? This might be another instance of me just not seeing it when it actually is there somewhere. But, I mean, it's probably been replaced by Entomb because Entomb is instant speed, whereas this is sorcery. Um, but anyway, so we'll put that there. Re Reanimate is still a sweet card. And our foil is a frantic search. So there you go. Now, for those of you who fast-forwarded, you're welcome. I did leave it until the end. I didn't screw any of you over. I haven't opened any of these. I have one that I got from Wizards. For the guilds of Ravnica nonsense that went on. But I've never opened one. So we're going to open my very first one. Right now together. Come on. Come on out of there. Card. Alright. Do we want to bet on what it is? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Holy moly. That is a spicy, spicy hit. That's the top end mythic from this set. And we just opened it in borderless foil. I don't even know. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, other than it's time for... It's time for this. Like, immediately. <laughs> this box, holy moly, this box by itself, without the box topper, Jiminy Crickets, Jiminy Crickets, that's all I have to say. I mean, what did we hit? We hit Micaeus, Tarmogoyf, Emmercool, Foil Caracas, Foil Glenelendra, Box Topper Liliana. Demonic Tutor, Engineered Explosives, Phyrexian Tower, Gorio's Vengeance, Back to Basic, Life from the Loan. All of those cards are over $15. All of our Mythics, except for Micaeus, made it over the $20 mark. Right? Our Foil, Glenelendra, doesn't have a price attached to it. Because they don't have... They, there's no price for it on TCG yet. Um, because, you know... Why would there be a price for it? But if we look at, like, let's say we look at the Modern Masters one, the foil of the Modern Masters is 35. Now, the normal of the Modern Masters one was tw is 21 still. Um, but, you know, if this is even, this is probably over 15. Easy, right? Like, we, we definitely got our value back out of this box, no question. Now, whether you'll get your value back out of this box if you're playing full MSRP for these... On a regular basis, probably not, right? Probably not. The set is hot and it's hype, for sure it is. Um, and I'm sure I've missed some uncommons that I need to pull out, and I'm sure I've missed some other foils that I need to pull out for value. But anyway, maybe I'll do that and I'll put it somewhere here, total a total value, so that you guys can see what the heck happened with this box. Um, I don't normally put the value on the videos. I don't like to do that, but holy moly. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Thanks for bearing with me through this 30-minute video. I appreciate it. I hope you're ready for Ultimate Masters, because I sure was, and I am so glad that I opened this box. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.